A new video is here and let's see today how to replace your USB charging port on your Lenovo M10 Plus tablet PC. If you want to buy uh, replacement parts and tools, I have provided the links in the video description. Just click on more under the video. Hi and welcome to a new video tutorial by Crocfix. Um, today we have here a Lenovo tab and the problem is the charging port doesn't work anymore, so the tablet is not charging. We will need to replace this. And to replace this, we need to disassemble the screen, because this model is made this way, that you can actually go uh, into the tablet if you disassemble the screen. So first what we need to do is heat up the display for a bit with a heat gun. Okay, once you have heated up the display, then you take a pry tool and try to lift up the screen. You will probably also need a bit of alcohol. So, firstly, you need to get into the screen here by making a small gap. Then you can use a bit of alcohol and pure it here to go in and then you work yourself a little bit around but don't go too deep inside as you could damage the screen. The best is you have a really thin uh, pry tool. Once you lift it up the best is to change it, you take it out and you take a plastic cart and then you go again just on the edges, maybe for a millimeter or two, and cut the glue to the side. Then you go and double check, see where is the screen, and then you go under the screen. So you see, this is the glass, there is the screen, and then you go under the screen but not too long because you could damage a cable. So you just go like one centimeter deep under the screen here. Wait, I will do a bit um, more light in the video. There we go. So you see that's the screen. So we are going under the screen and then cut the glue to the bottom. So not too deep inside, just around the edges and cut to the bottom. And the same we need to do on the upper side here. So here, and again same here, you can pour again a little bit of alcohol and work yourself down. But let's check where is the, where the cables are, if you will, if we can see it. Usually they are not that close to the frame. There we go. Now we can have a closer look. So, okay. Now we check again. And what we see is we can try to lift it up now for a bit. Not too much. Okay, so we, we see a flex cable here 
there we go which is going to the bottom side but not to the full bottom side so we can actually uh, go and cut here again a little bit so we go with this plastic tool here inside and try to cut maybe one centi centimeter there we go now we can try here is still a little bit of glue and now we can try to lift up the screen here carefully so the flex cable to the screen is connected to this side here somewhere firstly we need to disconnect this double-sided adhesive tape there we go now we can lift up the screen like this so now what we are going to do we will first we will disconnect the battery here so as you see there is a connection here to the battery so you need to hold the screen somehow and you're taking a screwdriver and some some tweezers and firstly we need to remove this protective foil and then you have here two screws this we will unscrew we lift up this plate and disconnect the battery there we go okay so battery is disconnected not what no what we are going to do is we will also need to disassemble and unscrew these four screws here. So one, two, three, four. So once we have detached all the four screws, then we are going to remove this metal plate. So carefully, this metal plate is attached here inside and now let's remove it, okay? As you see, there is the side panel attached also on this flex cable, so we're just going to move it by side. And now we can also disconnect the screen. There we go. Screen disconnected. And we can remove it. So now we are going to replace this part here on the bottom. First what we are going to do is I'm going to remove here the four screws one two three four I'm going to remove this metal plate also and now let's remove this screw as well this is the fifth screw okay now we detach this flex cable and then we remove this plate lift it up 
and take it out. So, we have removed this plate here. Uh, just a second, okay. So now we are going to take a new one and place it in here. Now we take here a new, brand new uh, charging board and we will put it here in place. There we go. And then we are going, oh, let us check if the board is okay. Sometimes there is some dirt inside the connection. Now it's okay. We put the board back in place here. There we go, we connect the flex cable Take the metal plate Put it back where it belongs And go with the screws First the four here on the right side And then one here on the left. Okay, double check if this is connected. It is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare. Uh, I'm doing to prepare the frame. Just be careful if there is one screw. Where did it fall out? I have no idea. But um, here we need to put some glue so the new screen, I mean not the new screen, the, the screen will hold there. Uh, what I'm going to do here is firstly I'm going to clean here these leftovers. If there are some leftovers here, it doesn't need to be very strong, waterproof, it's not anyway. So I'm just removing everywhere where are some bumps or where is it. Uh, where it does cover the front camera or, or looks dirty. So I'm removing this and I will place some glue there instead. Uh, where we still have some adhesive tape on the frame, we can leave it. It be, will be probably enough to stick the screen in. But I'm going anyway to put some stronger glue on some spots, so it will be enough. Uh, now let's go uh, testing first. Let's see if this board is working and if everything is fine. So firstly, we need to connect the screen. So we are going to connect this cable here. Okay. And then we are going to connect this one. Mm. 
There we go. And then we connect the battery. Okay. So now let's check if it does charge. Oh, it's charging. So as you see everything is working, so let's disconnect this cable. And then we are going also to detach the batteries here first again. And then we lift up this cable here and disconnect the screen again. Okay. So now let's check everywhere the situation of uh, of the adhesive tape. Seems to be okay. I'm just taking some glue. Okay, so now we are going to take some glue. And I will um, just maybe also clean here a bit of the dirt here, if there is some dirt present. I'm going to use a cloth. You can use also a bit of alcohol if there is many dirt inside. Depends of the dirt and you can clean it as well with a toothbrush. This is just for the dust. So it will prevent that the glue won't stick to the frame. So keep it clean. Okay, uh, so far so good. Now let's take the glue. And as you see here, I'm having in this corner, so I already have some adhesive tape there, so this should be good to go. But I will put some glue here on the edges. Some here and then going here. So basically everywhere where there is no glue. We don't want that the screen fall out of the frame later. So here in the corners a bit. And then again here. And also here. Here you have to be careful because there is a, <clears throat> a microphone, so don't glue the microphone in it. Otherwise, you won't have sound. There we go, and a little bit here as well. Here a bit, also here. I'm putting a little bit here and here and there. Just want to be sure that it will hold. So that's it. That should be alright. I'm taking here the glue by side. Now we are going to assemble this tablet together again. So the steps are the same. Firstly, we're going to connect the screen here. So let's connect the flex cable of the screen. There we go. Then we are going to put back the metal plate with this flex cable.
There is a connector under the flex cable here. If you're not sure if it's connected or not, you can do following. Disconnect the screen. Disconnect this cable you de detach here from the... If it's holding, this is probably stick too much, so I would just leave it there. So you will see when it's connected to the uh, to the frame here. I mean not to the frame, to the connector. Anyway, this is just for a dock or just for dock station charging, so don't worry about that. Again, we are connecting the screen back, then we are putting back the metal plate inside this here there is a small tongue here which needs to go here inside there we go and then you gently press down and feel if the connector is seated to the other connector okay that should be fine now we are taking the four screws here And number four. So this is tight. Now we are going to connect. Uh, firstly, remove this yellow tape again. Connect the battery. And then we are going to put back the metal plate here. The metal plate goes Uh, the opposite, opposite. No, actually there are here two spots here. Two pins and it needs to go inside. These pins. And then they need to be gently pressed. Come on. One and two. They're just so tiny there. Make a little bit trouble, but we will manage this. Okay, so now it's okay. Now we take this screw here. The other screw. Okay, and we stick this back, and now we stick back the screen here to the frame. So, there we go. Perfect. And now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take here this plastic. Clips, put them on the screen to hold it inside the frame. There we go. And we'll leave it like this for, let's say, three to four hours. If you have time, you can leave it for a day. But it's up to you. charging Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find a donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.